Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how you can internationalize your Lightning Web Component or how you may use internationalization properties in your Lightning Web Component. If your organization is a single currency organization, in that case, Salesforce admin can directly set the default local currency and time zone. And users can also set their own default local currency and time zone in their personal settings. But if your organization is having multi-currencies enabled in it, in that case, your Lightning Web Component is always going to adapt the default configuration for your org itself. So let's suppose if your org is having a different time zone and your user is having a different time zone, so your Lightning Web Component will always adapt the time zone of your org itself. To make your Lightning Web Component internationalize, you can use internationalization properties. So in this video, I can show you how you can use these internationalization properties and also I'll show you some examples to use it. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. Alright guys, let's start today's video. So guys, first I'll show you an example through which you can interna internationalize your lightning back component using the date. Okay, so for that, uh, let me create a quickly component first okay so guys in this component we'll be having a date format that will be the default date format of the organization and then we will convert it to the user's date format using the internationalization property okay so first let me just quickly create a good ui so we can have a lightning card here let's name it internationalization date in lwc okay and let's have an icon as well okay that should be fine now i'm adding a container div here and let's give some padding Okay, cool. Now guys, here first we will show the default date format, then I will add a button to convert that date format based on the user state format. So basically we will internationalize our Lightning Web component. You may also do this functionality on the load of this component, of course. So this is just for demo purpose. That's why I'm showing you on the buttons click, okay? So let's suppose date. Okay, here we'll be having the default date. Okay, let's add a line break here. And then we will have formatted date. Okay, that should be fine. Let's add a line break here as well. Okay. Now, let's add a button, lightning button, okay, let's name it, get formatted date, okay, and on click of it, we can call a function, handle formatted date, okay. Okay, so this would be the UI of my LWC guys. Now on the JavaScript part, first we have to import the internationalization properties. So from those internationalization properties, I will be importing local, local so uh, to get the uh, local uh, date format, okay. So we'll do from Okay, now we will first take a date and that would be the normal date, I mean without formatted, okay. So let's add, let's add today's date then. So this is the default format like year, month and date, okay. 
All right. Now we will add the function here. The function name was handle formatted date. So this is handle formatted date and yep. So here we will do this dot. Okay, I missed to take the formatted date parameter. So I will quickly take it from here and here and here as well equals to new internationalization date time format and here we will pass our local and then format then we'll pass the date okay let's deploy this component quickly and see the output guys like the same way there are multiple things that can be internationalized here okay i believe we are having an error here uh, what it says missing resource value okay but i believe we have imported it correctly import local just a second uh, okay So guys, uh, there are multiple uh, internationalization properties that can be imported like there, there's one for language that will be returning the language, uh, the language code. Then there, there's direction of text like left to right or right, right to left. Then there's local what we are importing here. Currency is here, first day of week, date time, time zone. So there are multiple things in the official documentation. So I'll do one thing. I will be sharing that official documentation also in that description of this video okay so let's test this component first okay so we will go to the org okay. here it is sorry here it is so this is my org guys and here i will be adding that component let me refresh that page once okay add it and this is my component i will add it here save okay all right so now like this is the default format like monday july uh, 25 2022 okay now if i will click on this get formatted date so it will format the date based on the settings on my user so let me show you the settings here as well So here in user, if you will go to language and time zone. So here you see the uh, local is English India. So that's why, you know, it has converted the date format based on it. Suppose if I will change the local to, um, let's change it to English US, okay. English US, save it. It is saved. Let's refresh it and try to get the format again so the format has been changed to month date and year like previously based on the indian local it was like date month and year and now it is month year and date so that's how guys you can internationalize your lightning web component to adapt these things from the users instead of the uh, org setting but like this is only useful if you are having uh, having multi-currency enable in your org like because like if you're not having multi-currency then most probably you won't need it but if you're having multi-currency so a lightning web component is always going to adapt the organization wide uh, settings for these things and guys also i have created two more components here just to give you a demo okay so let me just show it to you so i have created one to get the currency and one to get the time zone as well okay let me 
show you the code also so this one is for currency so in the currency also i have imported the currency one you don't need this language and direction here i was just testing it out so let me just remove them so i have imported currency and uh, here i am just converting a number a default number to a formatted currency and in formatted currency in the currency i have used this imported currency from here okay now let me show you like what will be the output of this so is it saved yes okay now if i will click on get formatted currency so you can see the currency format is in rupee right now but if i will change my currency from here to usd and save it and refresh this component so it is going to get the currency in the dollar format and same goes for the time zones also so like right now it is getting the time zone from asia kolkata because like my default time zone is this and if i will change my time zone so same will be happening for with the time zone also so guys that's how you may use the internationalization property and that's how you may make your component to adapt these internationalization things from the user setting as well okay so that it is for today guys and if you like to the channel subscribe to if you like the videos or subscribe to the channel will be awesome and also i'll be having the complete code on my blog which is salesforcebold.com so do check that out also if you need the complete code for these three examples okay so that's it for today guys i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching